Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to work out percentages of whole numbers by using 10%, 5%, or 2.5%. Now if you look at one of the previous videos, it will talk about how to work out percentages of whole numbers by using fractions. But in this particular video, I'm going to break it down into its component parts. And this is more typical, perhaps, as a method to use when the numbers are a little bit bigger, a little bit harder to manipulate and calculate. So let's say that we have a question which is something like 12.5% um, of 600. Now, what I said in the previous video is that we could convert that 12.5% to a fraction, and then we could use the principle of equivalent fractions in order to reduce the numbers and make them a little bit easier to deal with. Okay, however, with this particular one, I think one of the ways in which we can do it is to say that, well, if 12.5% of 600 then what we can do is to say, well, actually, 10% of 600 equals 60. Okay. What that means is, is that 100% of the number is 600. That's 100%. It's everything of the number. So, therefore, if we want 10% of 600, then we move the decimal place along and divide by 10. So what we've done is we've calculated 10% of 600 is 60. Okay, well if 10% of 600 is 60, then 5% of 600 is going to be half of that 60 is going to be 30. However, we want to calculate 2.5%, so at least we want to end up with 12.5%, but we're calculating 2.5%. So if we divide that 5 again by 2, so in other words, we get 2.5% of 600. That will give us half of the 30, which is 15. So what we've got now is the building blocks to be able for us to calculate various percentages of the number. So if we want to find out 12.5% of 600, all we do is we add the 10% and the 2.5%, which is 60 plus 15, which is 75. So 12.5% of 600 would be 75. Okay, um, we could also calculate if we wanted um, 17.5%. Well, 17.5% will be the sum total of these, which is 60, plus 30, which is 90, plus 15, which is 105. Likewise, we could calculate something like 22.5%, which would be the sum total of two lots of 10%, which is 60, plus 60, which is 120, plus 2.5%, which is 15, so 120 plus 15 is 135. So it allows us really to manipulate these numbers in a way that suits our calculation. The only thing that you might potentially need occasionally will also be to work out 1% of 600, and 1% of 600 will be 10% divided by 10, which is 6. So now we could calculate something uh, perhaps a little bit more difficult. So let's say we wanted to calculate 37 and a half, no, 37% of 600. So 37% of 600 is going to be three lots of 10%, which is 120. So 30% equals 120, and then 7% is going to be equal to 7 lots of 1%. So 7 times 6 is 42, and if I add those two together, I've got 120 
plus 42, which is 162. So 37% of 600 is 162. So if you are looking at percentage questions in an exam paper, sometimes it's just as easy to work out 10, 5, 2.5 and, and 1 and use that in order to answer the question.